hi good afternoon folks it's simon at vans today in worcester i'm here to give you a video walk around of this 2020 on a 70 plate it is the peugeot boxer it is in the l2 medium wheelbase format with the h2 high roof uh, it is in professional specification so that's your top of the range specification in these models and that gives you electric windows mirrors aircon dab fm am bluetooth telephone bluetooth music uh, cruise control, reverse parking sensors. Did I mention air conditioning? I should have done. Um, so um, really nice specification vans. Now this particular one was first registered. I think it's the 2nd of the 12th, 2020. So you've still got uh, a bit of Peugeot warranty on it until 2nd of the 12th, 2023. So that's always nice as well, isn't it? It's a, it's a one keeper from new vehicle. It has covered just 59,000 miles from new uh, and is in nice all round condition. Um, now, the purpose of our videos is to give you warts and all video walk around of the vehicle. We point you out the good bits and the bad bits, and then you can make the informed decision whether this is the van for you or not. Um, <clears throat> what else should I mention? It's the later 2.2 diesel engine in this one. So the older 2 litre Euro 6 got superseded by this new 2.2 diesel. Um, and um, I think it's a better engine, to be fair. Um, so what that means is it's emission zones compliant, obviously. So if you're going into any of the emission zones, then you haven't got to worry about paying any of the emissions charges. Now, let's get going. So we're going to start up here on the roof cone. Uh, as you can see, you've probably got a better view of it than I have, but uh, that's in overall good condition with no major damage. Coming down onto your windscreen and the windscreen is in good all round condition uh, with no major stone chips or cracks or anything that's going to cause either of us any grief. <clears throat> down onto your bonnet and again the bonnet is in good overall condition with no excessive stone chips i'll give you a close-up so you can see and then front of the vehicle your front grills front of the front bumper etc these are in good condition with no damage passenger side headlamp unit's good and then passenger side front bumper corner that's also in overall good condition with no heavy scuffing Looking down the side profile of the van from this angle, there's a few things to note. Take note of the nice polished finish to the paintwork. Just show you it's had a little bit of love in its time, doesn't it? Now, as I look down the side profile from here, I can't see anything major to point out to you from a damage or ding point of view. Uh, so that's all looking good. And then round to your driver's side, your driver's side headlamp unit, that's also in good order. And your driver's side front bumper corner is also in good order. Again, look down the driver's side of the vehicle and you can see the paintwork is reflection or has reflection on it. So again, a nice polished finish to it. And again, no major dents or dings or damage to point out to you. Passenger side front wing is all good. Pa oh, passenger side, that's driver's side, Simon. Uh, driver's side front steel wheel, good all round condition. Now we have just put two brand new tires. They are budgets uh, on the front of this, but you've got two brand new tires. Steel wheels have minor elements of corrosion, but the tyres, as I say, are brand new. Your mirror case with integrated indicator and upper and lower mirrors are in good condition. I should have shares in those bloody things, to be fair. Uh, driver's side door glass, that is in overall good condition as well, with no damage. We have a couple of minor marks. I've just noticed here, I thought they were a bit blue, but they're not. They are just a couple of minor chips. So we will get uh, the touch-up pen on those and just get those touched in and there's just a little one there as well and in fact that is just dirt there i think so driver's side door lock and handles in good order if i bring the camera down your door edges you can see no major dents or dings anything that needs a bit of a touch in we will get sorted out for you getting down low check out your lower sills and you can see there is no heavy damage or major damage on those your black protective strip down the side of the vehicle that's also in good condition with no damage Mid quarter, that's all looking good. Rear quarter, again, that's all looking good as well. That is a bit of it's a bit of bird poo. Okay, yes, yes, just been validated. The birds come and poo on it. Yes. Lower quarter, that's all looking good. Driver's side steel wheel on the back end. Minor elements of corrosion on the steel wheel. The tire itself, it has a little bit of wear on the side wall from rubbing up against curbs, but that's perfectly acceptable. Your tire itself though has plenty of tire tread depth. And if we look down the side profile of the van from this angle, just giving you another viewpoint of it. All neat and tidy, isn't it? Uh, driver's side, rear bumper corner, 
is in overall good condition. Um, we have rear light unit, that's all good. Bumper corner and side reflector good. I believe the lads are just ordering up a couple of clips for that little bit of trim panel there that's a little bit loose. Rear doors, as you can see, we have barn doors. Those doors are in overall good condition. Your door handle and lock are all looking good. The door edges, as I bring the camera down, the door edges again, you can see those are all good. Your rear bumper with integrated reverse parking sensors are in good order as well. Opening up the door, looking inside the van, and you can see, nicely ply lined. Bulkhead's got a little bit of wear and tear on it, but it's not heavily damaged. Your ply lining kit inside, again, it's done a job, but there's plenty of life left in there, and I would actually say it's in good overall condition. Ceiling, that's all good. No apparent signs of any damage up there. Inside of your rear doors, the ply lining has got a little, so you've got a little bit of a hole in the ply lining there, but and a little crack in the ply lining up there, but overall, not in bad order, is it? Close that properly. Light unit this side, again, overall good condition. In fact, let's show you the corners this side. Bring it down, overall good condition. Bumper corners all good, reflectors are where they should be. Look down the side profile of the van, you can see there's a nice mirror finish to the paint. And again, no excessive damage to point out to you. Rear quarter, upper, that's all looking good. Lower quarter and arch, that's all looking good. We have a factory steel wheel on this side. Now there's a little bit of damage on that steel wheel, okay? So we will check out what the spare wheel is looking like. Um, and uh, we might even have a spare steel wheel, to be fair. It looks like they've, I don't know, it's a weird one. I don't think it's caught the curb. Anyway, uh, it's got some damage on it. We'll have to sort that steel wheel out for you. The tire though, look at that, loads of tire tread depth on there. Sliding door rail this side, that's all looking good. Sliding door itself, overall good condition. Getting down low, check out your lower sills. Again, all good, no excessive damage. Your protective strip down the side of the vehicle is in good order. Your sliding door handle's good. Passenger door handle's good. Check out those door edges again, just so you can see. No damage to them. We'll open up the sliding door so you get a viewpoint of the vehicle on this side. And as you can see, it slides back and holds into place nicely. Your door shuts are in clean, tidy condition as well. Door rubbers are all present and correct as well. And then your lower sills on entry are clean and tidy because this in here it normally gets full of rubbish. Bulkhead, just an up close viewpoint of that but there we go now passenger door passenger door glass that's all looking good your mirror unit overall good condition as well um, oh no I thought that was a crack then but I don't think it is oh there is there is a small crack on your plastic cover there I'm not convinced with that there's a lot we can do about that bit but it's nice and secure. It's not going anywhere. Passenger front door, uh, passenger front door, I should say, full stop, is in good order. Passenger side front wings all good. Factory steel with a brand new Lancel budget tire that we've just fitted. There we go, all looking good. Opening up the vehicle and your passenger side door card is in good, clean, tidy condition. Have a look inside your door bins. They're all nice and tidy. Your door shuts are clean and tidy as well. There's your bonnet release. I'm going to open that to show you underneath there. Entry seals and plastics are good. Here we have your fuel flap with add blue filler in there as well. Passenger side flooring is in good, clean, tidy condition. Glove box with book pack in there. And then dashboard fascia, all good. We have another glove box in there. And then we have headlining, clean, tidy condition. And your seating system on the passenger side is also clean and tidy as well. Looking underneath your bonnet, let's try and give you an overview whilst holding the bonnet open with one hand, but hopefully you can see, nice and tidy. Have a look under there, there's your air box in there. You have a big cover under the engine nowadays. Brake fluids in there, coolant in there, correct color coolant there for your Peugeot, no contamination in it. And that's all looking good. And then, 
pass uh, passenger side, driver's side. Whilst I get rid of the little money spider that's fallen into my ear. Rather well, sizable ears to catch money spiders. Uh, anyway, electric windows and mirrors, door card as you can see, again nice and tidy. Have a look in there. Yes, I've got some keys in there. Uh, entry, uh, sorry, your door shuts on the driver's side are clean and tidy. Now you do have the standard factory wear out the uh, from on these vans of a little bit of wear on the painted part of the Silvera case where you kick it with your boots every time you get in and out, You're trying to climb over your handbrake, obviously, that then is um, uh, is, is uh, catching you. So, yeah, um, we can get that painted. It's not a major drama. And then the other factory um, item, standard factory item, is the wear on the driver's side floor. Um, they make this floor out of paper mache, so if you wear any form of work boots, it wears through fairly quickly. Pedal rubbers are all good, mind you. What we all suggest is a pair of heavy duty mats off eBay. Um, pop it in there and that will just save your floor getting any worse. Um, getting in the vehicle, <coughs> top of your dashboard, we'll cover that. As you can see, nice and tidy. You've got your little, um, yeah, there's your little uh, notepad thingy, my bob. And let's turn it on. 59,480 miles. Telling us I'll close the rear doors properly. Steering wheel, multi function. Still got most of your factory texture on it. Horns on your steering wheel as well. Right hand stalk does your wipers, left hand stalk does your lights and the lower stalk here is for cruise control with speed limiter. Six speed manual gearbox, reverse gear all the way to the left and then forward and that will activate your reverse parking sensors. Uh, and it sounds like it's got a reverse parking beep on it as well. Uh, now we have DAB, FM and AM on the stereo. Let's turn that fan down a little bit. DAB, FM and AM on the stereo. You've got Bluetooth telephone and Bluetooth music. You've got factory navigation on there as well. The all important air conditioning Heated mirrors, central locking, hazard warning lights. It's like an electronic stability program there. We have more storage in here with a USB power under there as well for you. And then just have a look in between your seats. You can see it's not full of old McDonald's dust, etc. etc. Let's just turn all that off for a second. And there we go, folks. Um, 50 to 60 photos of this van are on our website. Our website is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the centre of the country, offering you nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. Feel free to give us a call 01905 672 080 or email us sales at vanstoday.com. Now, if you're worried about who you're buying off, check out our reputation online. We have a presence on Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram. And if you want to be kept up to date with all of our latest videos, feel free to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, folks. Like and subscribe. Um, and that's about it. If you've got any queries from anything you've seen on the video, feel free. Just give us a bell. We don't bite your head off. Uh, we're very approachable. A spade is a spade. Um, so we can have a sensible conversation. And uh, that, my friends, is about it. Thanks for watching and speak to you later. Cheers.